hey Kayla, I'm looking at your ideas and um, I think the glass might be too complicated for a logo design. Just like a lot of lines. Um, the mountains, I don't dislike, but I, I've seen a lot of mountains um, from other students. Not saying that you knew that, but so I'm kind of partial to some of these other de designs that you've done. Um, I'm, I'm, my favorite is probably the church key idea. Um, I think, you know, this could be simplified enough to where it would work really well for you. Um, and I think you could find a nice font pair for the church key. Uh, one thing, you know, that you could do is you could search for, um, you know, church key icon, uh, go to images. Like, so this is your first logo, so you don't have to necessarily um, draw it all out um, with like the drawing tools or anything like that. Uh, we can keep it pretty simple. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of church key. I mean, there's that. I guess we could do... Um, bottle opener, maybe. Um, and see how we do there. It's a little bit better. It doesn't really have the same shape as the old school church key. So, I mean, I don't know if you'll have to go with something like this, maybe, if you can't find the right shape. You could potentially make it from scratch with like the shape builder tool. Um, it wouldn't be super duper hard to do. Um, I don't know. This one's somewhat close, but it's really low resolution. I don't know. I, I think maybe just try to find a decent sized one. Um, you can right click or control click on that. Um, save image to downloads and then go into Illustrator. Uh, let's do file new. You'll need it three by three inches, CMYK color, raster effects on high. Um, you don't need it to do anything with more settings. Just try to get it to match this. Um, create. Go to window workspace, essentials classic, and then you can do a file place and bring in that that church key um, PNG file. You just click and hold and drag down, let up when you get it the size you want it to be. Uh, the image trace button is over here in the properties panel. Um, so image trace, you can probably black and white logo is going to work out the best and it's a two-step process. So once you choose black and white logo from the drop down, you have to push expand. And once you push expand, you can see that you have anchor points now and it's actually like an anchor based image instead of a pixel based image. And um, there's usually, if we use the black row tool to move this over, you can see that the white outline is, is there's a white box behind it. So we have to use the white arrow tool to select individual shapes. So if I grab this, I can actually grab that out of there. If I command Z that to undo it, um, if I try to grab it with the black arrow tool, it'll grab all of it at once. So, I mean, if you're really wanting to delete things, use the white arrow tool. And then to move things, use the black arrow tool. And then you could come up with a, a nice font pair for this. Um, you could put it underneath. You could put it um, inside, like on this black part here, um, Kayla Zarn. Um, you could put your first name here, last name here. Uh, you could also like rotate this and maybe just have it up and down and then put Kayla Zarn here, like in two lines and a nice font pair. Um, and I would save that as a file, save that as Kayla. And remember to start in black first. So we want to name our file with BW for black and white. And we want it as an illustrator file, .ai. Um, I'm not, put it in your documents, like in, an, in the class folder, graphic design 231 or graphic design applications. However, you have that in there. Um, and then the, the logo project, like have a, have a logo project, like folder, um, and, then, and then save that AI file in there. Um, and then do a file save as. After you get this looking the way you want it to, you know, you can outline your fonts. So you put your fonts in there. I think I spelled your name right. Um, let's say this is the way I want it to look. Um, I can 
right click and create outlines. So you need to outline your fonts. Um, and that's the black and white one. And then we can do a file save as. And, you know, save this as uh, CMYK. And put that in the correct folder, you know, your, your um, project folder, uh, logo design project. Um, Kayla logo CMYK save. I'm not actually going to save it, but so you have a black and white and a CMYK version. And then once you save your CMYK version, you can start adding in colors. You know, um, you can double click here to get a custom color. Use this to kind of click around and find a color that you want um, and then push OK. Sometimes something happens where it doesn't let you change the um, where it won't let you change the color of something. And if it's in grayscale, you might want to put it in CMYK um, over here in this palette here. Um, the three stack line, put it in CMYK, and then it will change. Because for whatever reason, when I image traced that black and white image, it wouldn't let me change the color. So um, let's see if it lets me change this. OK, let me do that. But yeah, and then you can come up with a color scheme. That looks like Christmas. I wouldn't go with that. But um, And then save it with a command S or file save um, for your color version. And then you need to export out. Um, export export as then you'll need to export out jpeg files um, so you do file export export as and then use artboards and then you export it don't change the file name on and you so i'll need ai and dot jpeg files for both cmyk and black and white so just try to be um, thoughtful about your placement of your text and your font pair and you know i don't think that this is a very good icon to use honestly it's it doesn't really look like what it, we want it to. I mean, yeah, if somebody told me, yeah, that's a bottle opener, I'd be like, okay, yeah, that's a bottle opener. But if somebody said, what is this without telling me first, I'd be like, I don't know what that is. So I would be careful with um, what you do there. Um, it doesn't mean that you couldn't try to make it yourself, um, you know, with shapes in, in Illustrator. You know, you could, you could start, you know, drawing out, you know, different shapes um, to try and get you know, you can use the pen tool to create, you know, some of the shapes. If you did the pen tool assignment, you know, you can, or you can use the pencil tool. Um, if you can't find a tool, just go to help and search for it here. My computer is, um, and it'll show you where it's at. So here it is on my particular workspace. Sometimes tools are, are hidden for different people, depending on your workspace. But anyway, um, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, this is your first logo, so I'm not expecting a complete masterpiece, but I do want you to follow naming conventions, file types. I want you to outline your fonts. I want you to have a black and white version and a CMYK version as well. Um, and I want you to export out the JPEG files um, Actually, I'll show you this again, because when you export, export as, I'm just going to put it on the desktop, but when you do the JPEG, you need to have it on CMYK and high resolution. And so I want you to do all those things correctly. Hopefully this isn't too confusing of a video for you. I kind of went over a lot, but I kind of just wanted to walk you through the process really quick. All right, talk to you later.